Did you ever get to tell your father you loved him? To tell you the truth, uh, it's not clear. I can't remember. Did he tell you he loved you? That's also tough. That's really tough. Um, well, just, just the fact that um, I was with him mm -hmm. uh, made everything wonderful. You know? As many have noted, Julian was not a planned child. He was conceived at the height of the Beatlemania, when frankly John was in a terrible position to be a father. Some of this was beyond John's control. Although he certainly handled what was within his control very poorly. John was always touring and recording and was in and out of the lives of Julian and his first wife Cynthia. Circa 1967, John met and began a relationship with Yoko Ono. John's divorce with Cynthia was pretty messy and his early relationship with Yoko was of course very intense. John became increasingly focused on his political ideals and efforts of activism. Julian was sidelined. Flash forward to 1970, when John and Yoko moved to the United States. John continued to be very outspoken politically, and he was eventually targeted by Nixon's administration. He was stalked and harassed, and his immigration status was invalidated on questionable grounds. He spent a number of years combating this in court and eventually won, but until this was resolved, John would have had great difficulty returning to the United States if he had left. John missed out key years in Julian's development, because he was sort of stuck in the United States. In effect, something similar happened to John's own father, a sailor whose on and off relationship with his son was more or less destroyed after a series of wild mishaps and misfortunes kept him halfway around the world for far longer than he intended. At the same time, it is also true that John did not make much effort to reconnect with Julian once his immigration business was settled, though it is probably true to some extent that the relationship had been irrevocably damaged at that point. Then in 1975, Yoko Ono gave birth to Sean Lennon, John's second son. By all accounts, John was considerably more loving and present with Sean than he had been with Julian. Sean was the product of love. John Lennon is reported to have once told a young Julian, you are the product of a whiskey bottle. It is a comment suffused with three of John Lennon's most infamous traits, cruelty, wit and brutal honesty. It is also true that John was never entirely out of the picture and Julian has remarked more recently that he and John had some good times together in the mid 70s when John's girlfriend May Pang during his separation from Yoko, encouraged him to see Julian and arrange a handful of visits. I guess the sad thing about it, the more we were getting to know each other, in my late teens, when he was taken away, the regret of not being able to get to know him better, but I kind of grew through his music, Julian said. While he was hurt when his father abandoned them, Julian said he had learned to forgive along the way. He left my mother and I. We survived on our own without real support from him, he said. In order to move forward, you have to find forgiveness on every level, otherwise the pain won't go away, and to live life like that is a sad situation, and I didn't want to do that way, he added. Despite their uneasy relationship, Julian attributes his passion for music and his other endeavors to John Lennon. Asked about the greatest lesson he learned from his father, Julian said, I think it has to be probably believing in yourself and your passion and your drive and stick to it. Don't let the buggers get you down. Keep the drive, keep the passion alive and learn from every situation to make world better and better," he added. We cannot know with certainty the shape John's relationship with Julian would have taken had John not been murdered. Julian was near grown by that point. So it was too late for John to have had a stronger hand in his upbringing. But Julian may have been able to have had a more meaningful relationship with his father in adulthood. In one of the last interviews before his death, John explicitly expressed a hope and belief that he and Julian would have a relationship in the future. Tragically, we will never know how things may have turned out.
liberated young men were facing the first moments of fatherhood, too. And John Lennon talked often to me about his infant son, Julius. Oh, I keep looking at him and crawling about and throwing my cigarettes on the floor and thinking, where did he come from? <laughs> it's his... You, you do tend to think a bit when you see them. Love, that's the main thing, you know, he's just got to be happy and know he's wanted. Not having any of that boarding school or any sending him away, he's going to be with us all the time.